All right, today I'm going to do another axe video. I'm actually going to build two two axes and they're both going to be for sale. Uh, they're both Tasmanians. Um, the first one is this this keen steel. It uh, it's got a super fat profile. It's going to be an awesome splitter. It's in pretty good shape. Nobody beat on the pole or nothing. This one weighs, uh, what was it, four pounds, three ounces. And I'm gonna put it on this hickory handle right here. After we're done, it's probably gonna be right around 31 inches. Put it on this hickory handle. I'm gonna change the palm swell a little bit. So that'll be the first one I do. And then uh, the second one, the second one is a four and a half pound Sater Banco, Tasmanian. I don't know if you guys can read that. It says Sater Banco right there. It says made in Sweden, four and a half. This is a really nice axe, full bit. Uh, every time I get a package from Australia and I see something really nice, I pull it out and I kind of put it to the side. And this is one of those. Um, this is one of those that I pulled off to the side because I was debating on keeping it or not. And I'm gonna put it on this white oak. This is a, a Whiskey River 30C white oak handle. Um, they only did a limited amount of these, so I keep checking their website and they haven't had any sense. So this is the only one I got. This head's going on this handle and this one's going to be super nice. They're both going to be nice, but, um, this one's probably going to be a little more desirable. The Sater Manko is, it's a little heavier too. I think it weighs four pounds, nine ounces. So a little over four and a half pounds. Um, all right, I'm just gonna get started on them and I ain't gonna show a whole lot of the hafting process cause I've already shown you guys that a bunch of times. So I'll kind of just show a little bits and pieces and then show you when it's done and um, they'll be available. So stick around till the end of the video. I'll, uh, at the end of the video, I'll tell you how you can get a hold of me and what the prices are and stuff like that. So stay tuned. Thanks. All right, got it all fitted. Got this handle all prepared, burnt, and I, I dressed up the palm soil how I want it. Got my logo on there, my initials, and this thing's ready to half for the final time. So here we go. more taps. This thing's got a super fat profile. It's going to be an awesome user. And uh, the place where I buy these handles, usually they're thicker. This one's kind of thin. This is a thinner handle. A lot of guys that have been, that have been using the axe for a long time like the thinner handle. So this one's already kind of thinned down. Usually I don't like selling really thin handled axes because uh, some guys buy them and don't really know what they're buying and they break them right away and then they get mad. But um, So I usually like to sell axes on a thicker handle and then when the people get it, they can thin it down if they want, you know. But this one's kind of like in, in the middle. It's not super thick, it's not super thin. Um, it fits the hands nice. I got some glue in there. Let me get this wedge dressed up and I'll turn the camera back on. 
All right, here goes the wedge. This is a, pretty sure this is white oak. Far so good. I'm just going to go for a little bit more. The wedge cracked in two spots, which is fine. It's got a tap on each one. Looking pretty good to me. I'm going to go for just a little bit more. All right, I'm going to call that good. All right, this first axe is done. Uh, it turned out really good. The half turned out really well. This is an awesome user axe. This, I mean, really fat profile. It's a good user. Um, at the end of the video, I'm gonna do some, I'll take some better shots of it inside the house when I get the other one done too. But number one's done. second one done it definitely took a lot longer than the last one probably about three or four times longer uh, these Sweden axe heads they have a really interesting eye they're like hourglass on the inside shape and it makes it really difficult to get a good fit so that's why it took so long but I got it I just showed you guys a glimpse of the cross wedge. I had to cross wedge it because I had to get spread this way and that way. So that's what took so long. But uh, let me get this finished up and I'll turn the camera back on inside and get some better pictures or better video of it. All right, here we go. These are they're both done. Both these axes are available. Uh, let's go over it one more time. This is a, a keen steel with a super fat splitting profile. This would be an awesome user. The half turned out really well. I think that's a red oak wedge. On this hickory handle. Let's uh, measure it. It's just over 31. Just over 31 inch hickory handle, keen steel, four pounds, three ounces. Awesome user axe. Uh, the Sater Banco turned out really well. It took a lot longer. Um, these Sweden eyes are like an hourglass shape. So once you get them fitted, you got to spread the handle that way. 
you got to spread it both ways. So I ended up putting a, I had to do the cross wedge thing, which I only do that if I have to. I guess it looks kind of cool, but um, I had to do it on that to get a tight fit. And uh, this is white oak. Turns out really nice. I uh, almost don't want to sell this one. Um, I wouldn't be bummed if this axe doesn't sell. Uh, I'm a collector too, so it's like I would kind of like to put it in the collection, you know. Um, but I would sell it for the right price. Um, this keen steel, I'm going to sell for that one's $325. And you know, plus shipping and all that. And um, I'm not even gonna put a price on this one. I'm just gonna accept offers. And if the offer's high enough, I'll probably take it. So I'll put my number, my phone number on the screen and you guys can text and uh, make a deal with me. And um, once one sells or once they both sell i'll put a comment down below that they're sold so um so thanks for watching and if you guys are interested go ahead and send me a text thanks